Hey you guys, just before we start the video, I wanted to say that I'm aiming to reach 4000 subscribers in the month of February, but for that I'll need your help because YouTube has been hating on my videos with the algorithm. So yeah, if you can, just please share it around in a few communities or share it to a few friends, and any subscriptions, likes or comments on the videos are greatly appreciated, and I'm hoping that we can break the curse that is on my channel currently. That's it, don't wanna come out you know, too begging or anything, but uh, it does make a huge difference for me, so thank you very much for listening, let's get into the video. Hey everyone and welcome back. It's February which means that the uh, 50s and 60s tourers car challenge has finally concluded in automation and we are here to review the submissions which of we have 12 right now as you can see here. Thankfully all of them are kind of grayed out so I'm not uh, spoiling anything but you can see the names so to speak. These two here are mine. This is the previous one from the rally challenge and this one is for this challenge particularly. So first of all we've got the XS32. Alright, so the car only has uh, two little issues, but I think mine even had that much, so it's not really a thing I'll keep a note of. This one seems to use a sort of uh, Nissan uh, Fair Lady type of body style, it looks like. Quite interesting, I like the uh, the rims there. Um, the body style is the same as the, you know, the, the Fair Lady, but everything else is looking different. Of course, you can't really do much here other than use the actual square light. There is some, some weird... Uh, 3D meshing going on. I do know that five of these cards I think had missing fixtures So I'm hoping that this isn't being ruined by the fixture there, but that's kind of an odd way to, to For the game to kind of cut out those meshes. That's that's a weird looking part there um, It does it on the same same way the other side as well. So it's not just the um, some some random error there yeah, I mean, it's it's not you're not trying to do too much I do see that there is an interior by the way. Just keep a note of that one. That's quite nice to see uh, you know, we, even if it's a uh, fairly low detail interior, it's still a huge achievement for at least for for uh, someone to do. And finally, the back, of course, which I actually quite like these uh, vents here. Um, they kind of fill out this empty space that otherwise would be here. Uh, this one here seems a little bit flat for me. I don't know how I could have improved it. Um, maybe it's just the color that's making me feel that way. Maybe it would have been look better in black. Uh, I do like this this detail on the back door here, and also some some nice uh, window, uh, whatever thing about the, these are cleaners. So yeah, this is the first submission, quite nice. I wish the error here wasn't there, but hopefully it will get fixed once I export it to BMG. But let's move on to the next one. Next up, we've got the Rancher Grand Coupe V12. Let's see what that's all about. This one seems to use a sort of Corvette-ish body style. Uh, it doesn't seem to look like that slightly in the front department as well. The pop-up lights are a bit narrower instead of the longer one that the Corvette used to have, I think, but I might be misremembering. I like these uh, kind of meshed together vents with the, uh, the the bumpers, though it's quite nice design. This port here feels a little bit empty, but uh, it's nothing too major. I guess I just... I don't know, maybe I would have like made these a bit taller and then pulled a bit up, but that's just my uh, opinion, I guess. I like the vents placed on the stop, and also that's a nice interior actually. I like how there is a third seat back here. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cute. I like that. That's that's a good interior. Also, right hand drive apparently. Um, and this back again. Like I think these lights, the the previous set that was used as well, it's kind of flat for me. Like they they just you know single color, and there's not much texture going on, so I f find them a bit boring. But Again, it's subjective, I guess, and also it probably should have been uh, pulled a bit lower so it doesn't uh, clip badly on the um, edge there. But yeah, I mean, it's still a solid design. I like it. A nice, nice little car, this one. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, we got the Vulkers GT298 4. A handful of a name. Okay, this one has a lot more issues. Oh my god. Oh boy. I hope this is not gonna worsen the experience too much for me in BMNG. But yeah, it looks like it's it's kind of pushing the the design limits here. What is this? This oh, it's the white body car. Interesting. I quite nice. I like that. Is this custom made? Looks like it's a custom made um, vent. Yeah, it looks like you can see it because of the different texture. But yeah, I like the lights as well. They are kind of nice. Look at look at those uh, 3D things going on there. And also these lights, nice. Yeah, I like this car. This, this looks very nice. I do like these, these hood uh, vents as well. 
like the white body actually being made to fit the car properly. It doesn't look too off. Unlike I mean, on, on mine it looks looks more off. I would say. So a weird way to open a door though. That's still interesting though. I, I like this car. This is this is very much out there. Also exhausts on the side. A bit of a thing sticking out, which I don't know what that is supposed to be. It's like a oh, it's kind of like a cover. I see now. Yeah, it's, it's a cover going around them. Ah, I like these wheels too. They kind of match. I like how there is an emblem on the um, fuel cap. Interior is real nice on this car as well. I do like it how it's was kind of um, you know, made properly and and even like you know having badging there for example like you know little details details like this always kind of push the car just a level further in my book and also you know the the um, pedals and everything so yeah uh, even has the emblem on the uh, steering wheel really really nice part here as well the rear is really nice as well this this is just the overall really nice design I'm I'm quite happy about this I really hope it's not gonna you know be a Absolutely painful experience in BMG, but uh, for design wise, this is very, very good. All right, let's move to the next one. Next up, we've got the Serbent uh, Cervantes Calypso. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. Probably not, but whatever. Okay, this only has a few minor issues, it looks like, so it shouldn't be too bad. Okay, oh, that's that's a cute car. <laughs> okay, um, so si side, uh, side plays is the license plate. Uh, nice little blinkies there. Uh, X lights. Eaters, or whatever you call them. I like the lights and I like the uh, the the thing. Oh, am I am I seeing an engine in there? It it looks like yeah. I mean it, this is transparent, so I guess I shouldn't be um, surprised. But yeah, that's that's a nice little detail or addition, I guess, to that. Be sure that's a modded fixture though. That's probably why. Oh, I like these displaced uh, exhaust. Is it the same on the other side? It is. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like those. That's probably my favorite uh, exhaust placement I ever saw in, in uh, automation. I like the back too, by the way, like, th these lights are kind of flat in the same way, but since they kind of stick out in a 3D way more, and they are placed in a much less, like, big empty space, they work a lot better. But yeah, this this is a very nice design as well. It's, it's really sleek. Uh, it's probably the best word I can find for it. Yeah, good job on this as well. Let's move to the next one. And, oh, this only has this one little issue. That's fine. That's That should be, shouldn't be too bad then. Oh, the pickup truck. Interesting. I did see this in, in, uh, in, our, in our Discord. And I think these are a bit flat again, but it's less, you know, intrusive because of their size. It's kind of small. Um, this is a bit flat here, though. I don't know what I could have aged here, though. So I'm, I'm not gonna criticize that part. Um, I mean, this, this car overall is just kind of smooth. I guess that's the best word for it. It's like you know, curved and kind of, kind of like how do you say this? Like lots, lots of space on it. I mean, it's a big car. What is this supposed to be? What, what is? What is this supposed to be? Some sort of a... I, I don't know what this is supposed to be. Um, I like the details on the back though. Polo GT Colonel. That's a big boy. Nice exhaust there as well. Detailed on, uh, underneath. This one doesn't have a, a ex uh, exterior or interior as I see it. Yeah, it doesn't have one, so... You know, it's fine. I mean, I don't have one either as I said. But yeah, nice, nice design. Cohesive, I guess, and... Uh, Overall, just, you know, well thought out. Thought out. Let's move on to the next one. We've got the Model A Cabriolet. I think that's that's how you pronounce it. Oh, that's got a few issues as well. Hopefully it won't be too bad. Um, braking... Uh, bra braking is going to be probably a pain in this one. We we'll see if I remember that when I get to test it. That's small wheels, Jesus. Um, pretty sure bigger wheels would have been possible with this car, but I'm not going to... Precise this design for now. Um, I li like these sidelines, how they go through, and these these are custom made as well. I can see the from the kind of edginess of it. Now let's let's start with the back this time. Ooh, that's actually interesting. I quite like that hot <laughs> plate. Um, and this this is actually a nice design as well. Is this put together point bar point the port? That's that's impressive. Um. Looks like it is, yeah. Ah, oh, that's quite an interesting design. I, I like that. This is this is cute. I don't know why there's a blinky there though, it's because of the front to be like some somewhat symmetric. I like the front though as well. Uh, it's kind of reminds me of a Mercedes, an older one of course. But yeah, it looks quite nice. All right, next one. McNamara Tulsa one uh, 1963 Street Master. That's a, again a handful of uh, name. All right, a few issues. A lot of them are blue though, so that shouldn't be too bad, I guess. We'll see. 
Um, well, that's a red one, and uh, what sort of a car you have? A red one, that's kind of what <laughs> ladies would say who know nothing about cars. This one also has an interior, let's start with that. It's kind of flat, and also the... I, I don't know if it's worth making an interior for cars like this, when you don't actually like finish it, like there's not even a steering wheel or anything, so... I'm kind of unfenced about this, I, I would say it's, it would have been better if, if it had like blackened out windows, but... I mean, I, I upload the effort still, I guess, it's, you know, it's, it's better than what I did, which was nothing. <laughs> I just left it on blackened windows. Um, I like the car, though, it's, it's kind of a nice design. I like these white parts, kind of contrasting with the, with the red. I mean, white and red is a good combo, we all know that. Um, I said, this, this one definitely made sure that there is no sort of empty space on this car. There is not only 3D kind of, you know, um, curves going around, but also all the space is kind of filled out. Um, even if it's a bit glitching through the car here and there, but again, like this, this is a good design. And also, that's also true, but whatever. It's automation being automation. And yeah, this, this red one reminds me of that Ford of something, I think. Um, but yeah, I also like this one. Uh, even though the light, I mean, the light is less flat because it has these textures on it at least. So that's, that's something, I guess. So yeah, nice car again. Uh, let's move to the next one. The uh, Feli da Carnivore. Right, two yellow issues, smaller engine, uh, reducing engine width, yeah, so engine size is basically the issue. Yeah, this, oh. That, that, that's an, that's, oh, that's, that's an odd looking car. I mean, yeah, I mean, a carnivore definitely fits the description, to be fair, it does look like it has teeth and it's gonna eat you. Um, I kinda like this creativity in, in that regard. There's a lot going on though, as, as on the front though, as well. Um. Different types of lights, there is yellow light, index indicator light. There is no white light though, which is interesting. I mean, some older cars did have it like this, I guess, but it, I guess it adds to the menacing feel because, you know, light, yellow eyes are kind of the uh, eyes of predators. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Is this glitching out or something here? Or is this intentional? I don't think it is. It's probably glitching out because of my missing fixtures. Yeah, it looks like it is. Uh, okay, so the, the car has additional horns or something. That's... Again, and this thing also is kind of... I don't know if it's glitching... No, it's uh, it's not glitching out, sorry, it's, uh, it's just a fixture there. And the back is also... Wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, this car is... is I mean, I, I see the effort put into it, so I, I'm gonna upload that. Um, there is a lot going on, you know, with the custom meshes and whatnot. Um, it's it's an odd one. Like, I, I feel on the fence about it. Like, there, there is... Some of me likes it, some of me is just going like... This is a bit too much, but... Again, I, I, I don't mind having sometimes different cars, because I know that it's kind of hard to, um, you know, in innovate for truly for certain things. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. Clover 3600 Galvin GTS, so let's go with this now. now. Oh, that's a lot of issues. Oh boy, this is gonna be a pain on BeamNG, I'm feeling like. <laughs> okay, let's see the design. Ooh! Ferrari-esque body type, with the uh, three... three young Triangle dissected light uh, that is otherwise circular. Like the front, uh, very big front by the way, that's a huge front. This kind of looks like crumpled paper for whatever reason though, which I don't know why. Um, I'm guessing somebody was kind of trying to cover this whole area up with, um, you know, just, um, just platings basically, so that's probably why. I mean, I, I guess that's the best way you can do it because th there is no real way in automation to kind of just you know cut off certain part and give, give it a different... Um, um, color. I do like these side vents. These, these look nice. I don't know if it's custom made, but it looks to be. Um, like this back. This back is is quite nice looking, actually. I, I, like, I do like it. There is a lot of shapes going very, very well together with each other, so I, I upload the creator for this one. There is also interior, by the way, so that's nice. If I forgot to check the interior on the previous car. Um, yeah, this one, this one is, is this one is doing enough so that I actually can can pass it on as an interior. Um, even though there is a little bit of empty space going on there, maybe you could have like covered this area up somehow or or something around there. Because yeah, there is a lot of creeping through or, or visible thing that shouldn't be visible going on there. Anyway, a good car overall. So yeah, let's move on to the next one. Okay, last three. Next one is the Estor Heron. Oh boy, a lot of issues with this one as well. Um, yeah. Basically. Might be a handful to drive as well, but we see another Corvette-ish body style, but a lot different design on this one. So I'm not, I don't mind that, or or it's not an issue. I do like this this front a lot. I I always like the um, you know, 
2000-ish uh, Lotus Ellie's uh, kind of bug lights or, or insect lights or whatever they call them. Um, this, this kind of reminds me of that, just in a more retro-esque style. I do like this this front custom-made bumper as well, with the uh, indicator being part of it. Um, it's uh, you know this is a nice body shape overall, that's why it goes well with everything. No interior, but that's fine. That wasn't a requirement. I do like this light setup as well. Um, the quad lights are kind of nice with the with the design cues that are going on with this car. This part is a bit empty for me. Maybe it could have been like cut off like here, and the exhaust could have been placed up 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 there in that vent or something. I don't know. Um, but you know it doesn't ruin the car or anything. So it's still a nice design overall. So good job on this. All right, let's move on to the last two. The ECR 12 GT. Right, not really, no really issues here, just two blues, and uh, again, the same body type. <laughs> it used to be quite popular for this challenge. Um, ooh, I, I do like this this uh, design that's going on with the um, using the different shapes for, for making a target match together. Also, the, the sunken into light on the front is really good. I, I do like this a lot. This is really nice. There's a, there's a lot of effort and um, thought, thought uh, that went into this car, it looks like to me. Um, yeah, front, front quite nice. Hood is, is also nice looking with the vents and whatnot. There's of course an interior because it's uh, you know, convertible. Actually quite nicely designed one as well. Look at all those interior designs with the steering wheel, uh, radio and, and even the... Uh, what, do, what do you call this? Um, the shift, shift thing about, yeah, rod. There's some English design. Oh! It's broken here. Oh, it's the same on this side. What is okay? Something is going wrong here. I I don't know what it is. I'm guessing this shouldn't be here, and and also this thing probably shouldn't be exposed either. But yeah, yeah, it looks like it's kind of just glitching out. Ah, uh, sorry guys. I mean, I I alerted people for for um, you know, for for not using the modded fixtures that I. Have, don't have, but whatever. Uh, finally, the back is oh, it's, it's really nice looking. By the way, I do like this a lot. Everything is just just really well put together and nice, decomposed. Really yeah, this this is a beautiful car overall. Um, yeah, good job on this. All right, let's move on to the last one. Last but not least, we've got the 1962 Kotatsu P500 Duchess. Oh no, it has a red issue. Oh boy, that's gonna be. Probably not good. Oh boy. Okay, I tried to fix it probably before I export it to BeamNG, but, but we'll see. Um, again, a car that uses the uh, Chevrolet type of body style, and what is going on on the side here? Oh, never mind, it just loaded in. It, it forgot that it wasn't there. <laughs> I like the interior though, I can already tell. It's kind of nicely designed interior with oh, it's even some, some decoration and whatnot going on. This is probably my favorite interior so far, even seat belts and everything. A good job on the interior, that's for sure. Let's see on other parts. I like the uh, hood. I like the pop-up headlights kind of composed into a design. It kind of reminds me of the Toyota 2000 GT, I think what it's called. Um, uh, you know, with these lights and pop-up lights in combination. And it's a lot of nice things going on overall. Like, this, this is a car that works really well with the shape and everything. Um, I like the rims. This is a good choice for this sort of car. Um... This light looks somewhat uh, like the other car that used the same body shape, but it just three instead of quads. But yeah, again, this is a, this is a nice looking rear. Uh, there's not much to complain about here, really. The exhaust coming out of the body kind of makes this empty space less empty, so that's always nice. And yeah, it's again just an overall solid design for this car. It's a good job. Even the back here was covered up properly. So yeah, this, this probably has the best interior I've seen in, like, ever <laughs> uh, during our competitions here. Even has this uh, kind of a bit, bit wonkily attached because of all automation, but uh, still sunroof or whatever it's called. Uh, bo the James Bond ejection seat or something. <laughs> anyway, that was the um, the whole competition. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, yeah, please comment down below which you want to win. Because the one that will get the most votes in the comments will be the winner for this competition. At least the cosmetic part of it. Next up, we'll be returning with the Beam and G tests. So keep an eye out for that one. But for now, I say my goodbyes. So see you everyone.